Here's Mr. Briscoe. Just got done with his dinner. Here's the ideas about the kitchen. This is the island. And the top surface is soapstone. And this is what I mentioned, uh, outlets. And all of this overhang is extends another inch beyond the edge of the door so I don't have to clean spillage that gets in here. I can feel a little dust, but not much. And then the same thing over here. This is a removable piece of edging. And the main point is when the stove is splattering food, that it doesn't get into this crevice. And then if I need to, I can just take that wooden edging and wipe it down. Get something that's easy to clean. The stainless steel works perfect and it cleans very easily. I changed to LED lights and I think it's a uh, two stage. GFCI, one for the overhead light, one switch for the garbage disposal. The counter is extra wide here to allow a working surface and then allow some of the holders back. And then we put this, I think it's called a farmer sink. The nice thing about this is these counters are 30 millimeters, so this moves this sink down 30 millimeters and when we originally had the cabinets here it had some kind of a splash door or something that you pulled down to store scrub brushes all that was taken out but then i had to fill this space so i found some of the remnants of this and I turned them sideways and routed them so that they fit. Um, this is the motion sensor light. Well, here's the other thing. If you have a garbage can then you could just put it right here on the edge and scrape whatever you need to right in there. That's another reason to have the edge of the counter overhang a little bit more. Here's a neat thing. If you don't have one of these, this is an Ulu. This knife is absolutely razor sharp. And I made this holder out of the same cedar that my canoe is made out of. And then I cut it at an angle so 
the weight of the handle. This is fossilized coral. The weight of the handle will hold it over there and that baby will cut anything instantaneously like a, like a like a razor we got that in Alaska one of our I think a 30 year marriage anniversary vacation trip um, this is this counter is extra wide. That's the faucet. Um, we made it extra wide, so there's all this room here to work or store things. And that's why I moved the faucet all the way to the end because this is the utilitarian side and I bought an extra one of these uh, soap dispenser pumps. One for hand soap, one for dish soap, and then this baby is easy to clean. I'm into low maintenance. This comes out real easy. And that's the, oh, I'll show you real quick. This is the pantry. Dog food on the bottom. Grocery bags, because we have to supply our own grocery bags in California. And then, uh, oops motion sensor lights and then these are all our uh, staples I made this uh, spice rack right here double decker holds all spices Medicine, cereal, candy, snacks, salt, fire extinguisher. I made this shelf once again. This is cedar siding for in um, closets. Oh, these babies are good. These truffles. I got them at Sam's Club. Very good. Christmas clothes out. Pasta. Coffee filters. Grits. Those are good grits. Barley. Matzo panko. There's a tour. Oh, this is great. Look at this. Watch. Watch this. An extinct, an extinct animal is the Aunt Jemima label. What do they call that? Political correctness, the new version. Wonderful syrup. Who cares about what the label is? Some people do. There we go. The uh, oils, fats. Bruski. Oh, this is cool. This works pretty cool. This is, uh, it's got Velcro right back here.
and that keeps it from rocking back and forth when you open the door unless you take it off and then our uh, wish list for groceries here's one last thing considerations having the freezer on the bottom is very energy efficient because when you open the drawer the cold air goes down so it essentially stays in there and this has a couple of, of uh, shelves that's closed and these are a crisper drawer with dividers another crisper but this is a meat and beverage this is cool when you open one side, you can open the drawers on one side. And then adjust those shelves how you like. I'll just leave that open. And then this side is the ice maker. I'll show you this. Come on, baby. Here we go. If you wanted to take this out, which I do, because you can see this ice is dry rotted. I call it dry rotted. Another reason to have a big sink and another reason to change that ice every so often. And then I keep squeezing that. Put it in, jiggle it, make sure she's seated, slam that shut, and then uh, more, oh, this is cool. This one will slide out if you wanted it, but we keep it back for the tall shot. And then another drawer for the bread. This is kind of meat stuff. This is, um, we keep our butter that's on deck there or maybe if you had an avocado that was already cut and there you go 